Hi, and welcome to a plan for joining the homes video series. We're going to today look, uh, take a look at the daily Roman missile. I had written a post about why I think it's important for you to have one. Um, and so people have asked that I give like just a little tutorial on what's inside. So let's take a look. Uh, again, it's a pretty, pretty thick missile but it's very easily held in your hands. It has a series of ribbons to help you keep your place, but I also found that I needed to add a couple of holy cards to uh, mark other important places. So, we'll just go through. What I like about this um, missile, well, there's a lot of things I like about it, but in the beginning, and I use my white ribbon, to mark this section. It has all the days of the um, Advent season in a row. So every it goes right in order through the entire Advent season. First week, second week, third week, fourth week. Okay. Then we get to the section for the O Antiphons, um, the days, the 17th to the 24th. And then it moves right into the section for Christmas. So you have all the times that you could go to Christmas Mass in there and then the whole Christmas um, season afterwards up until the baptism of the Lord. Then it, the first section here goes into Lent which is again the same way sequential every day for all six weeks of Lent you'll have um, every reading for every day up until Holy Week. So we have Palm Sunday and the Triduum Masses. And then right here we, I have it marked, we're into the Octave of Easter Masses. So it just, it's very nice because everything is right in order here. This section goes all the way until Pentecost Sunday. And then you will switch to um, Ordinary Time, which is farther in the book. The next ribbon I use is the gold ribbon and that marks the order of the Mass. So you have all the prayers. On the right side it's in English, on the left side it's in Latin. So if you go to a Novus Ordo Mass in Latin, that's very helpful because it's got all the Latin um, words on the left side. So you've got the entire order of the Mass right here and it's marked by that little whatever brick red colored section. I use a holy card that I place for the prefaces because there's so many to choose from. If anything, that takes a little getting used to knowing which preface the priest is going to use. Sometimes you have to flip around. Right now we're using the preface for Easter. So I have a holy card that I use to mark, um, you know, the daily week or the daily mass preferences and ordinary time, things like that. That comes in handy. Then after the prefaces, we go to the communion rite and it has all the prayers. Again, this is extra prayers that I use. And then the concluding, uh, the concluding rite of the church, of the mass. The next section is in the book is ordinary time. And this, I use the first red ribbon to mark my place. When we come back after Easter, we should be somewhere around the eighth week in ordinary time. This is a little bit trickier to use if you if you go to daily mass because the um, first page that goes with the week that you're in has all of the prayers that are said at every mass during the week. But then you have to go through and find the different days. So this is Monday of the eighth week in ordinary time. And this is, you know, Tuesday's reading. It gives you both year one and year two. So, um, and then again, I will use, okay, I'll use the red ribbon to mark the week prayers because we go back through the, the collect, the prayer over the offerings, the communion antiphon and such. And then I mark the weekly readings with my holy card. That goes all the way then through the 34th week in ordinary time. So it covers the entire year, which is really nice. Then we have some special feast days, the, the Trinity, um, Christ the King, Sacred Heart, 
you know, uh, Corpus Christi special readings that have to do with Feasts of Jesus. Ne the next section has to do with the propers for the Mass of Saints Feast Days. Um, this gets a little tricky during the week because you never know if the priest is going to use the propers for the Saints Feast Day or if he's going to use the propers for the ordinary time, um, whatever week you're in. So you might have to do a little back and forth. I use the next, like a burgundy ribbon to mark where we are in the year. By the time we come back from Pentecost, you know, we'll be into May. So I just kind of go through, you never know. Um, like I said, there's optional memorials, in which case they don't have to use these prayers. And there's other feast days, such as the visitation of the Blessed Virgin, which is a feast day, so they'll have all of the prayers um, in the back. The next section has to do with uh, prayers for different types of masses that might be said, the commons. Okay, so you have all kinds of different prayers um, for different types of masses. So you have, uh, like for instance, the dedication of a church. There's about eight or nine um, sets of commons for the Blessed Virgin Mary. There's a bunch for different doctors of the church. There's holy men and women. There's an index in the front and it shows you all the different ones. So sometimes if they're saying um, a mass for a saint and in the saint section all they give you is maybe the collect, uh, then you will have to find the rest of the prayers that go with this. So this is where it gets a little tricky. You're kind of going back and forth depending on what the priest is using for the Mass that you're at. But it's a very extensive list uh, or section of different prayers that can be said, as well as all kinds of different options, optional readings that might be done. Again, I use the green ribbon to mark this section. Uh, a lot of times on Saturdays where we go to Mass in the morning, they'll do a, a Mass for the Blessed Virgin. So I keep it in that section so I can get to it easily. Then my final section is the navy blue ribbon, and that's different prayers that you can say. It's a very extensive list of prayers. Um, prayers before Mass, prayers after Mass, the Stations of the Cross, the Rosary. Again, I have different holy cards that I use to pray uh, at different points before and after Mass. Um, again, very extensive. Extensive. There's an examination of conscience. Um, pretty much any kind of prayer you can think of is going to be at the back of this missile. There it is. It takes a little bit of getting used to, I will admit. Um, you know, it's, there's a learning curve to it. But it's not bad. And the benefits of having one um, are that you tend to pay attention a lot more closely during during Mass, you know, especially if you go early in the morning and you're trying to stay awake. It kind of keeps you um, focused because you're flipping and reading along with the priest as he prays the Mass. So I hope you found this helpful. Please, if you have any questions about it, leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer it. Thanks.